हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो आप लोगों की रिक्वेस्ट पे एक और नया वीडियो मैं लेके आ गया हूँ ओके सो ये इंजीनियर्स रूम पॉडकास्ट का एपिसोड टू होने वाला है और टुडे वी हैव वेरी ग्रेट एंड हम्बल पर्सन विथ हस फ्रॉम एल एन टी हु इज़ वर्किंग इन एल एन टी फ्राम लास्ट वन ईयर ओके एंड ही इज़ नाउ सीनियर इंजीनियर पोजिशन सो दिस विल बी अ वेरी ग्रेट वीडियो फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू एंड योर ऑल डाउट्स विल बी क्लियर आफ्टर दिस वीडियो सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू वॉच दिस वीडियो कम्प्लीट एंड इफ यू फील ग्रेट देन यू कैन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड शेयर द वीडियो ऑल्सो एंड प्लीज गो एंड फॉलो हिम इन देयर सोशल मीडिया एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो आस्क हिम योर डाउट्स रिगार्डिंग एल एन टी ओके सो लेट्स वेलकम So hello sir how are you kaisa aap I'm very fine Ajay I'm fine how are you I'm fine too and first of all thank you for giving your very valuable time for us uh no actually it's a pleasure of mine because i've seen your work and you are doing an incredible job because when i used to be in my uh university now Yes, uh, yes. I was very curious, you know. I got this kind of anxiety, you know, what yes, to do, yes. how to do. Uh, at that time, uh, that much of video was not available. So you are really doing a great job, especially people who are, you know, uh, uh, want to go for core industries. Yes, yes, it's a great job. Thank, yes, yes. Thanks Thank to you. you. <laughs> no, actually, I also started this uh, through the L N T because mm-hmm. I also applied for L N T. I I am also okay. recently passed out in twenty twenty two. so i also applied okay. and through the vacancy i re- recorded a video that how much mm-hmm. vacancy is and how i can uh, everyone can apply for the vacancy mm-hmm. and in this uh, on that video there are lots of doubts of people that how we can apply and how the next process will be so then i decided to upload and solve the query of the people so in this way this start no oh, that that's a very good thing you are doing you know yeah okay you. okay so first of all i want to ask you that uh, give your brief introduction to our audience so that they know everything about you okay okay my name is abhilash patjoshi uh, i graduated from veer surender sai university of technology bulla formerly known as uh, uc bulla in odisha Yes. Uh, from the department of electrical and electronics engineering with a bachelor gold medal in 2021 then uh, through on campus interview uh, recruitment uh, i got uh, placed in lnt construction now i'm working with lnt minerals and metals uh, and i'm posted at kolkata head office oh. so uh, tell me something about how the lnt company come in your college and how the basically what was the criteria of first stage of selection like complete okay. procedure from starting mm-hmm. uh yeah. first from uh, i think they uh, got 20 groups from every branch you know top 20 students from every branch and they were qualified for the written uh, test i think from uh, university to university or from college to college this number might vary so from our batch to students were uh, you know got selected got uh, you know eligible for this written test after the written test they shortlisted 10 people for interview in written test uh, i think there are 120 to 130 questions i don't remember the exact number but uh, four section used to be there quant reasoning english and the one is your course core subject right if you are from electrical it's electrical if you are from mechanical it's a mechanical one thing you have to uh, understand that if you are uh, from uh, you know hybrid branch like uh, me electrical and electronics engineering i actually applied in electrical domain okay, okay. so uh, that's why the question came from electrical background not so much from electronics background so this was the written test after i uh, so for the written test how to prepare for quant reasoning english i think basic understanding is more than enough but still if you uh, want to learn you know concepts of probability maybe statistics maybe profit and loss all these subjects uh, arithmetic geometry whatsoever there are plenty ample amount of videos available on uh, youtube you can yes, yes. surely watch that i'll suggest now all videos english, are available they're very yes. simple Yes, yeah, yeah, they are very simple. And from the core subject, also questions are very conceptual. I'm a student. I was not preparing for gate actually, so it was a nightmare for me. You know how to okay. prepare for reality. You know, it's yes, a core yes. sector. But as, uh, trust me, it's very simple. Yes, and as we are engineers, so in four year of our college, we also know how to prepare 
one night before the exam. So it will be nice exactly. our mind that for every exam we just think that we can clear it just one before night. So <laughs> <laughs> we study yes. before night only. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's yes. how engineers study. Yes. So I was, you know, petrified. You know how to uh, learn so many things. I couldn't even recall the last semester. <laughs> But yeah, it was very simple. Okay. Don't uh, be scared. Okay. So this is for the written. I would say. One second. Okay, okay, okay. You can. Then after assessment about the interview, how was the interview and uh, how many num uh, number of panels are there and which type of questions they ask? Okay. Uh, as I'm from electrical background, I'll tell you. You know what kind of questions were asked to me. Uh, from my written test to my interview, the, it was a gap of one and one and a half year. Okay, so hello. So this is you are not audible. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yes. Yes. Uh, should I start from there? Uh, from yes. The yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So uh, it was a gap of one and one and a half month. So it was enough for us, you know, to revise the main subjects. Like in electrical domain, it is machines, power systems, to some extent, control system, power electronics. So, and the interview, the D day came. Ah, uh, what happened uh, in my time? It was only two people. Okay, one of them was. the very senior uh, one in the electrical uh, pt and d department i guess so the question were most uh, actually the section is divided into three part the first is extempo round the second okay. is technical round and the third is hr round in extempo okay. round they usually give you a subject you have to speak for 2 minutes or 3 minutes uh, in my time it was uh, one was for banking sector in india the second okay. one was for uh, deforestation and its impact on humanity okay. uh, i chose the second one after the extempo round the technical round happened uh, there they asked me about my internship what i did in my internship uh, you know uh, then uh, some uh, normal questions from machines you know and uh, power system also few questions from power system how relay operates what are the different kind of relay what are the different kind of protection used in power system uh, around 10 questions they asked from technical round and then the hr round happened hr round they basically asked you know why lnt why you want to work with lnt what do you see when you take the name lnt lasan and tube pro what are the major yeah. projects you know that lnt have executed whether or not you have any problem if you have posted at site whether or not you have any uh, you know like this kind of very normal questions uh, they used to ask if you have any uh, physical disability any medical problem because obviously you know site situations are pretty drastic uh you have to operate 12 hours straight sometimes you know all the time. i'm not scaring anyone okay this yes. is how site life is all about yes, so yes. Uh, <laughs> okay because the plant is in running condition now you cannot leave the plant yes, yes. so uh, these basic questions and then uh, after you know to we got our result people who got Yes, yes. I think there is a network issue. Okay, so mm -hmm. I also see in your profile that you also work in Nalco. I think. Yeah, Nalco. Actually, it was my summer internship in 2019 when I was in my second year. Uh, uh, I did a uh, vocational training at uh, Nalco. Nalco. 
uh, Nalco's Capti power plant it has its own 120 megawatt Capti power plant. There I did my summer training basically. Okay. And uh, what was the distribution like? Jaise hota na ki interview ke baad. The, what hmm. was the distribution of like they select on the basis of only interview marks or through the CGPA plus assessment plus interview type? Do you have any idea about it? Okay, I'll tell you one thing that when they shortlist people for you know interview, you always see you know people with higher CGPA get selected. Uh, that's how they usually do the shortlisting procedure. So now it's pretty much on your interview and your written test, I believe. Hmm. Okay, uh, because they have already shortlisted 10 people. Now it's all about how they perform in the interview. So it's not totally on CGPA, it's off right now. After you got selected, you know, in the written test, in the interview round, it is pretty much on how you perform in that uh, auspicious day. Uh, after that, what happened? Uh, we waited. Uh, I'll tell you one thing in LNT, there are different independent business groups of, of its own, independent IC. Right, independent company we uh, we call them uh, because LNT is basically a construction company. Construction in what sector on that uh, topic it is divided. In my in my case it was minerals and metals SBG. Uh, anything related to you know blast furnace, steel plant, um, aluminium plant. These kind of jobs are usually done by minerals and metals SBG. There are LNT building and uh, factory IC, LNT uh, power transmission and distribution IC, LNT defense IC, LNT water effluent treatment IC. So various independent company. So you get a mail from uh, the respective company, the respective company's HR. Uh, you know, you got selected in PTND, suppose you got selected in minerals and metals and you have to have your orientation. This place, you know, place name X, time X. Okay, when you. Uh, this time in this GT batch, actually, I'm a senior engineer now. I, I was GT in 2021. Uh, so in, uh, in our batch, it was a, a bit different because it was just after Corona batch. Uh, usually what happens, they call you to Chennai head office. They do orientation there. After that, they send you to your respective IC. In our case, they directly called us to our IC headquarter, which was in Kolkata. And there our orientation happened in various departments like safety, quality, uh, you know, um, um, contracts uh, in uh, business units, supply chain management, like that. This is how our orientation happened. And after six months of orientation, we got uh, involved in various projects executed by uh, our respective ICs. And after one year, 11 months uh, to, be, uh, to be very specific, our absorption happened and we got promoted to our scale O1, which is in the engine. This is how it happened. Okay, okay. And uh, then after interview, how uh, after how many days you get your results uh, of interview? Okay. Actually, our interview happened in the month of December. Okay. okay, 2020 December, our interview happened. Uh, that time, uh, you know, our final semester happened online. Okay, that time. So, uh, I got call from my IC in the month of May. So, it took around four to five months, you know, okay. till I got the confirmation. But it will vary, you know, from university to university, the result vary because in some of the NITs, they publish the result, uh, you know, the next month only. Like in the month of January, they publish the result. Yes, yes. Okay. And, that uh, and uh, they got a call in the month there, of yes. Uh, yes, yes. your corona was also there. But usually you get the uh, you usually get the notice from your respective IC around May or June. Okay. And then after interview, you got for medical, right? Yeah. Uh, after interview, a medical round happens. I forgot to tell you that. In the medical round, uh, there are some basic tests, you know, your eyesight test, your height, your weight. Uh, it's not, you know, you will be rejected. It's not a military uh, military uh, medical test. Yes, yes. They just see if you're okay to operate. Okay, that's okay, it. Okay. You know, they do your ECG, they do your urine test, blood test. It's, uh, it's pretty normal. Don't be scared. I have seen many people, you know, they have just, uh, they have hear a lot from Quora. They got influenced and they got panic. You know, what will happen if I got rejected in the medical? Yes, yes, yes. I've clarified interview. I've completed my interview. What if I get rejected in medical? You won't be rejected. Okay, don't be stressed. Okay, it is a, just a normal a medical test just to find out if you're fine or not. 
that's yeah it. it's like routine procedure routine made yeah yeah many people have you know they have written in quora that if you wear glasses it might be a yeah, problem yeah. it's not there a problem there are number of questions in my comment box also regarding this that i have glasses and my numbers are uh, very heavy so we like get rejected in a lengthy medical test or not like this no th- that's i'm saying <laughs> it's not a military medical test <laughs> so you know color blindness is one of the criteria for rejection in medicine color blindness see in my case i didn't find any one of that uh, you know uh, issue It's a rare case uh, i think i cannot comment on that yes yes, yes. Uh, actually i cannot comment on that uh, color blindness but yeah color blindness might be of some issue why i tell you uh, to give a real life scenario how it happens yes. in uh, transmission lines we have one effect called corona effect okay when corona effect happens there is a purple glow around the transmission line but a color color blind people may not be able to see that yes. okay so th- these are the thing or you you may not be uh, finding any problem when you do the uv ray test in yes, uh, yes. some machines so that's why color blind test uh, is a major criteria but uh, i really can't comment because i have i haven't seen someone getting rejected in that ground Yeah, because i also read it in quora that uh, color blindness is one of the major rejection but it is also a rare case that rare of people have yeah. such of rarest ha huh. yes so after medical test uh, how many it take to uh, get your offer letter and joining uh, as i told you that our uh, our result uh, Uh, was our test was in december our interview test was in december then our medical test also happened in you know uh, like december only then we got our result around the uh, month of uh, april i guess month of april we got our result that we got selected in lnt okay and uh, uh, no no sorry after uh, sorry uh, it, it was a mistake actually after the interview we uh, the next month we got our result that we got selected to interview and our medical test uh, will be held okay so they uh, give you a contact detail of the nearest uh, um, you know this uh, patho lab or something yes, that sir. is actually uh, the expense is taken care by lnt only you have to go there you have to have your test and uh, they they give you a call from your respective ic in the month of may that's how it happens once mm-hmm. your medical is done Uh, for at least four months, you will be in a state. You know, you know what's going to happen. Why I'm not getting a call? But trust me, it is just a matter of patience. Only okay. in the month of May, June only you get the call. So just be patient. Yes, because uh, here also around now the few uh, for the off campus drive interviews also going on. But lots of people mm-hmm. having their query that while. lnt is not releasing our results because i think only 5 to 10 days are over by, uh, after their interview but then also they are very curious to know their interview result they are calling to their hr and messaging their hr that when will the result will be announced i also told them that this is not a right way they will announce when they they are able to announce but people are quite curious to know yeah actually lnt is a pretty you know prestigious organization it will never mm-hmm, it will never play with uh, your feelings you know with your with its morals 80 years it ruled the construction industry what happens is actually during the month of may we get the result why because lnt invest a lot in you know training and development its orientation it spend huge amount of money uh, they uh, they let you stay at five star hotels four star five star lavish hotels so arranging all these things starts in the month of may okay april or may they starts preparing for it and after that they give you a call you know you got posted at this uh, ic yes, please come yes, yes. they arrange everything beforehand and afterwards they give you the mail that's why they take that much of time you know to arrange everything so this four months is i know in my case also i was very curious you know what what if i don't get a call but one of my senior told me that this that lnt is a prestigious organization it will never do that if you got selected you will definitely get a call just be patient uh, because uh, your uh, your gt period starts in the month of august usually so around may you will get the call from your respective ic okay okay and then something about personal like tell me something about your school how was you like a topper or average 
or something like that. Their pupils are very curious that they have a very uh, average in their schools and during their colleges. That's why they are not getting any jobs. They are not getting any opportunities like this. So tell something about it. Uh, see, uh, I'm a student. I'm from a uh, government school. Okay. Uh, ODM medium school in Odisha. We tell. And uh, in 12th also, I passed from ODM medium uh, HSC, or higher secondary education. Um, CHSC is the Council of Higher Secondary Education. So uh, I was completely in state board uh, till my 12th. I've seen many people saying, you know, English medium is better and all. Trust me, it doesn't really matter. If you want to improve in your life, if you want to work on your flaws, you'll eventually be better, right? And uh, till my 12th, I, I was not, I was among the top students. I used to work hard. So that got reflected in my bachelor when I got the gold medal. I really worked hard for it. But as I told you, I was not a great aspirant. So this challenge was equally, uh, you know, difficult for me because I couldn't even remember my last semester because our brain is not capable enough, you know, to hold all the all this vast majority of informations. And I have seen many of the my colleague, my, sorry, many of my batchmates were preparing for gate. So I I thought, you know, they will get a call from LNT. I won't get a call, but I worked hard. That's the thing. That's all I want to say. There's no shortcut to hard work. You have to work hard. You have to work on your dreams. You'll definitely get a result. Maybe later. Because before LNT, I got rejected in around three uh, campus uh, recruitments. Guess. Okay, I got rejected. I was so demoralized. I thought, you know, I won't be selected in any of the interviews. Better I should prepare any for government examination, you know, banking and all. I was that yes, demotivated. Yes. Uh, one day LNT mail came, you know, LNT is going to, you know, held a written test. My father told me to, you know, you be prepared. But that time I was like, if I was not, I, I didn't got, I didn't get selected in, uh, in lower companies. LNT is a huge company. How will yes, I yes. get placed in LNT? And there's no yes. chance. You know, I, yes. I, I wasn't having a hope, you know, even to get into LNT. But somehow I gathered my courage. I started working. वो एक कहावत है ना वो मेरे को बहुत पसंद आता है वो बोलते हैं कि मेरा पानी घटकता देख किनारों से किनारों पे घर मत बना देना समंदर हूँ लौट के जरूर आऊँगा तो वो वो अपने पास रखना वो बिलीव अपने पास रखना तो बिल्कुल वापस आओगे उस स्ट्रेंथ के साथ वापस आओगे एंड यू विल क्रैक इट नो वन अगर आप अभी exactly. से सोच के बैठे हो कि मैं नहीं कर सकता तो वो डिसाइडेड है कि आप नहीं कर सकते एटलीस्ट ट्राई तो करो अपना हंड्रेड परसेंट तो बाकी यस यस यू गिव योर बेस्ट दैट्स द माय फादर ऑलवेज यूज्ड टू टेल मी यू गिव योर बेस्ट डोंट वरी अबाउट द रिजल्ट यू गिव इट यू गिव एवरीथिंग यू इफ यू हैव देन लेट्स सी इफ यू कैन क्रैक इट और नॉट ओके यस यस and then i have some questions regarding this on my comment box if you want to answer yeah sure Okay, so first question is about the accommodation. Will we get accommodation and salary during the orientation program in LNT? Yeah, definitely you will get your salary in the orientation. You will also get accommodation. Uh, you know, this is what you see in my background is the accommodation given by LNT. Okay, okay, we got everything. We got bed. We got a nice. But yeah, as I was posted at office, this accommodation is valid for only uh, you know one year. Uh, but at site you'll get uh, you know full accommodation. Okay, and one question no is one also uh, regarding the welcome kit. Like, uh, is LNT give any welcome kit for GT for the core branches who join for the core branches like civil, mechanical, as you electrical mm -hmm. and electron? Uh, I didn't get your question. If LNT gives any uh, welcome kit, na like they gives like welcome kit. Of, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, in the twenty second batch, they gave uh, some. I I saw some of my juniors. You know, they gave T shirts. They gave a water bottle. 
they gave a diary yes, yes, every yeah. in every a cap also led logo was there and if you are posted in office you will be getting helmet safety shoes all these things but yeah laptop they don't provide uh, in our grade o1 o2 you usually work on desktop after that from assistant manager senior manager you'll get a laptop oh then next question is about working hour and working days you already told about working hour but about working days that is there any leave in a week okay so uh, this question is pretty interesting uh, i'll tell you why yes sir. what happens now people get scared you know what is the working hour side see our major earning is from site where a construction company to be very honest and site is a running condition site is always in a running condition you cannot leave the plant in between when i get a contract from a client you know suppose i got a contract from tata steel so now this is my obligation to tell you deliver the plant with the required a period of time otherwise i cannot compete in this construction industry i am telling from lnt point of view so this working hour is really not hectic why let me tell you uh, yeah 12 hour 14 hour i understand but it's not like 12 hour you are standing 12 hours you are continuously at one work you are doing any yes, clerical yes. job you are engineers right if you are passionate about your work every day you really get a chance to brainstorm into different topics right you you give a solution to a really complicated situation that is a pride in itself so working hour is usually in office it's like 9 to 6 there is no actually there is no ending time actually you can sit up to 8 but uh, it's all about your responsibility if you have to deliver something on time you may have to work more than 12 hours if there is no pressure on you you can leave uh, after 4 5 hours but uh, it usually varies it's from uh, you know what what is the department you are allocated to what is your work what is the work pressure it's not constant throughout you know i cannot generalize it 12 hours every yes, week yes 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 okay but yeah wherever you work it is not hectic it is not like you'll be standing you'll be doing a constant job for 12 hours straight you get ample amount of chance for chilling you know and you, you you'll be interested in doing all this engineering works if you have passion for engineering you'll get you get to learn a lot in lnt they tell tell us that please do mistakes we want yes, you to yes. do mistakes so that you can learn yes. so don't be afraid of this working hours wherever you go working hours are yes, safe yes yes mm -hmm. Okay, and the next question is about CTC and in-hand salary. Like, what was the CTC for oh. GP, and what will be the in-hand salary? Okay, CTC. Uh, in my time, it was six. Uh, required in recruitment, it was six hours. CTC was six. From there, they do some deduction. You know, PF, your professional taxes, all that. And in-hand will be around forty. Okay. And site you in hand will be a bit more because site people get some allowances extra. Okay, okay. And there is also a question like, is there any salary hike in L and T after promoting in senior engineer after one year? Okay. Hmm. It's all about see after your first uh, increment after GT period, you don't get any rating. So it is a usual, you know, whatever the hike. I cannot disclose that because okay. it's. Uh, in corporate we have we are told you know not to disclose our salary there will be certain amount of increase yes, yes, after yes. that it's all about your rating if your ratings are good if your ratings are good your increment will be really high you may exceed your seniors if your ratings are good this organization is like that if that's what i told you if you're passionate engineer na this organization will you know lure you in every case you okay. get your salary you get your benefits you get uh, uh, you, you know you you get so many uh, awards uh, so they really treat you well if you are passionate about it yes, so yes. salary won't be an issue if you are a passionate engineer if a hard work workaholic it will be a great job trust me okay. okay so these all in the question and thanks again uh, thanks thanks once again for coming and डायरेक्टली
ओके श्योर श्योर आई वुड लव टू हेल्प ओके एंड थैंक यू वंस अगेन ओके थैंक यू thank you and before going i would like to yes, say sir. all the best to everyone who is preparing for lnd or any core job in uh, specific and always please have your you know that uh, love for your engineering okay yes yes that's all i can say best of luck everyone thank you so much ajay thank you for having me yes yes thank you thank you